beautiful Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Houston Astros and the Boston Red Sox. John Chambi and Chris Singleton on the call. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now, and starting in this one, Brian Bayo. Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start Leading squaring up the baseball. Four. We'll see what he's got in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Yeah, big swing and a miss. Ooh, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seems to play better in road games. Swing and a ball popped up. Hamilton in position. Drops into the glove. One up, one down. Now we check out the Astros lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Jeremy Pena. Boog, this is one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. I mean, he's such a consistent hitter. You've got to love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll get a chance to see that in this one. Here's Alex Bregman. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And the count two and one. One out, base is empty. Swung on, belted. Rafaela raging back towards the wall. And it's off the green monster. Bregman into second, and he's got a double. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but... That's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. And that's in the dirt. Man at second. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it hits off the monster. And they'll score first. It's one zip. And the throws offline, safe at third. Put a really nice balanced swing on it and when you can rope one into the gap like that you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box and he'll feel real good about that one Yainer Diaz up next for the Astros on the ground Hamilton over to first, run scores, and that makes it 2 nothing as they get the out. So important to really lock in on an at-bat like this. It seems easy with the infield back, but you've got to make sure you put the ball in play. Put it on the ground, brought that run in. And now the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. Over to Smith, and that is the inning. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left on. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Astros two and the Red Sox nothing. Back inside Fenway Park. And on the hill in this one, you say Kikuchi. Chris, what are you looking for from him? 
Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss, get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. Kicks and deals. Swing at a high fly ball left field. Brings it in, and there's one down. Time now to check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. Trailing by a couple of runs already, and I'm sure they'd like to erase that deficit quickly. Yeah, you don't want to let this deficit get into your head and you're trying to just make up the difference with one swing and you really don't have the base runners on. You've got to contribute, keep the line moving, and all of a sudden you have a big inning, everything oh. shifts, and you find yourself in the driver's seat. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. One down. Masataka Yoshida. Runner on the go. Pitch misses inside. Throw. Save. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. And a pitch. That one ripped right center field. That's down. One hops off the wall. One comes in for second. It's 2-1. And that's a double. That was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, and come through with the base knock. You add a run. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. The 1 1. And Devers hits that one. And a base hit right there. Around third. He scores to tie it up. It's 2 2. Well, we're starting over again. All tied up. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Man at first with one gone. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. 2-1 now. Runner takes off. And it falls. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. That one probably had no business ending up as a base hit, but he got just enough of it to muscle it to the outfield. And that pitch was well in off the plate. A tough one to handle, but he gets rewarded. Now it's Dominic Smith. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Line drive, and it goes just foul. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario. Strike three, got him swinging. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Here's the second baseman. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. They get two and draw even again. On to the second from Fenway Park. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Second inning set to go. And here's the first baseman, number 28. Ball to strike, the pitch. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. On the ground to third. Can't field it cleanly. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. 
Now the third baseman, Zach DeZenzo. And the righty deals. And another ball. He gave up a couple of runs in the first. His offense picked him up. It's time for him to settle in now and throw up some zeros on that scoreboard. Nobody out. Runner at first. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Zach DeZenzo with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. Kicks and fires. There's the swing and a miss. First and second, no outs. Here at the top of the second. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. And it bangs off the monster. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. And they lead by two. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Runner in scoring position. No outs. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. Man at second. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Pitch misses outside. And the count is even two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Wouldn't chase that time. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And a 2-1 on the way. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. He goes down looking. Well, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Now it's Alex Bregman. And there's a foul ball. Man on second, two down. Swings and misses, struck him out. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now 4-2. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom half of inning number two, and stepping in is the speedy David Hamilton. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. 
Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The line of the pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. The wind of the pitch gets a piece and stays alive. The wind to kick the pitch and, and another ball. Three balls. He strikes. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Fires over to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now batting Jaron Duran. Two down, nobody on. Off the mark there. And it's two and one. Curveball over for a called strike. Two outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Inside three and two the count. And yeah, there's ball four. You can stomach a two-out walk to certain players, but with his speed, this guy out there in the base pass, it could turn into two or three bases. Will your Abreu will hit next? This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. The Red Sox trailing by two, bottom half of inning number two. There goes the runner. Pitch misses. Bro, save! That's a stolen base. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Three and one. Masataka Yoshida to bat next. Runner at second, two down. And that one oh, off the it. inside edge. You walked him. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So two down. So stepping in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. One -one. Oh. That misses off the outside edge. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Hauls it in on the warning track. Boston strands a pair. They trail it here. Four to two. Out of the third inning, here's Jordan Alvarez. This is a batter right here who really produces in these night games, and we saw the latest example of it in his first AB. And yeah, that's outside, and a count two and one. The wind and the pitch. And there's a the ball. There's a swing and a drive. And forget it. He hammers one out to right. And they add to their lead. It's 
And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Next to hit, Yaner Diaz. And strike two. Always oh, exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. On the ground, right side. Smith He's steps out. on the bag, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Whew. In there at the knees for a strike. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Fair ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And now the first baseman. That one ripped. That's down. One hops off the wall. Around third. He will score. And they lead by four. One out, runner at second. Here's the third baseman, Zach DeZenzo. Out to short, Hamilton throws the first yeah, in time. The center fielder, number six, Jake Myers. Here's the center fielder, Jake Myers. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Base knock right field. Runner holds it third, so even with two outs, they didn't risk it. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. This one popped up, has a beat on it. And that is that. So two runs on four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Astros six and the Red Sox two. Back now at Venway. Now it's Devers at the plate. The third baseman. Never. Swings through that one for strike two. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very oh. difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And now the lefty. Lays down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Yeah, the batter now, Connor Wong, right through there for a strike. Man at second. 
Got him looking. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. The 1 1. Base hit. Devers headed home. Here's the throw to the plate. The tag, and he's in there. Picks himself up an RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So, man aboard. And now it's the switch inning second baseman. Fouls it off, still one and two. Smith at first, one gone. The one two. And a ground ball to first. Off balance speed, there's one. Back to first, and it's over his head. Now well, that was going to be a really tough one to turn two on, so a nice job to get the out at second right there. Hold on to the baseball. Shortstop clearly paid the price, but that kind of comes with the territory. Man at first. Now it's the shortstop, David Hamilton. Next pitch in for a strike, and the count. One and two. The Strohs leading by three here in the last half of the third. The shortstop takes the ball. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Two outs. Pitch okay. misses. Three and two now. Three, two, two out. Runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 6-3. Back here in Boston, out of the fourth, and stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. Up the middle. Over to Smith. And they get Altuve for the out. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. And now it's Alex Bregman. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation, even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. Oh. That one missed. Two and two. Bases empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. To the right side, and that chance handled. Two quick Ow. outs here in the top of the four. Now batting. The left fielder, Jordan. Alvarez. So two down now, and here is your Don Alvarez. Two out spaces empty. Next oh, offering one. misses down and away. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. High fly ball down the left field line. And it's over the monster and off the billboard. Another homer. 
His second home run of the game, and they tack one on the board. It's 7 3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Brian Bayo won't go any further, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. On the mound now, Nick Pavetta. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. Base is empty with two away. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Gaynor Diaz. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Righty delivers. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. The bat, number three, shortstop. So digging in, Jeremy Pena. And here it comes. This ball's chopped on the ground. And that is that. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a four-run lead at 7-3. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Boston. Bottom of the fourth. And stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Meanwhile... Activity in the bullpen. Ronel Blanco getting ready to go. Presley getting loose as well. The pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. Now Now it's the DH. Jaron Duran. One down, base is empty. That one the other way. This looks like extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. One down. And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. Comes up empty. That's strike two. The Astros leading by four. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And he grounds one to the right side. Altuve slings to first. That's it out. Masataka. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Two outs. Fouls one off. Two and two. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And makes the grab. And that is that. One left for the Red Sox. They're down four. It's seven to three. Ready now for the fifth inning. And stepping in for the Astros, number 28. Left hand batter waits. And downstairs. Well, these Astros, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. 
Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Belly showed a lot of conviction with the fastball there, not just because of the velocity, but also the ability to command it on the inside part of the plate. The last thing you want to do with two strikes is just get too far in there, and it gets away and it hits the batter. So when I see a two-strike fastball bunch up a guy like that, it tells me there's a lot of confidence in that pitch. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Devers makes the grab, and there's two gone. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. And now the center fielder, Jake Myers. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. One and two. and misses it's a strikeout Astros go down one two three but they still lead it seven three new arm out of the bullpen Ronel Blanco and he's been fantastic now, this year really stingy in terms of allowing base runners fit. he's just got great Ronel. stuff that's tough to square Ronel. up Here's Rafael Devers. Leading off for the Red Sox. The third baseman. Rafael. And a pitch. Devers. And another ball. You know, these Red Sox, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always Three a good ball, sign when the ball straight. is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Count filled up three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Now a pop-up on the infield. DeZenzo makes the grab. Two down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Two out, space is empty. Dom Smith stands in. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. We go to the top half of inning number six. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. Into the outfield base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. advantage count for a reason you're so much more likely to get something you can handle pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one he pulled it hard into the outfield and even when you keep it on the ground it feels great when you hit a missile like that and that should be extra bases McCormick around second headed for third coming home the relay it's offline the run comes in and it's 8-3. Well done. Drives in the run. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. So, man aboard, Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. 
at the belt and fires just off the outside edge two and one. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Lifted in the air, out to left. As this one sized up, brings it in. And there's one away. Now batter. The left fielder, Jordan Alvarez. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jordan Alvarez. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dish. Man at second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left hand hitter waits. Fights that one away, still one and two. Stays alive. Bows it back with two strikes. One out and a runner at second. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, oh, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Squirts away a little bit. And the runner holds. Here comes a pitch. That's in for a strike at 95. Three and two now. And that's ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. The two on. In the air, out towards left center. Makes the grab and that'll own the inning. Astros pick up a run on the RBI double. It's now 8-3. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Well, we go bottom six. Joe stepping in for Boston, number 97. For the Red Sox, the second baseman, Nick Bogart. Two and one now. Just missed. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Number 74 appears to be getting loose. Or the right hander also getting loose. Swings through that one for strike two. Three balls. Two strikes. Smoked on the ground a second to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Not shortstop. David Hamilton. Now it's going to be David Hamilton. One down, base is empty. Out to short, Pena. Zips it across. Two up, two down. Up next for the Red Sox, the center fielder. Today. Here's the center fielder, Sidane Rafaela. Two outs. 
chopped out in front of the plate. The throw to first. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston. Can't chip away at an eight, three deficit. And so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Josh Winkowski. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And here's the first baseman. And a good eye there. Action in the pen down there. Luis Garcia getting loose out there. Righty to the plate. Three that ball. one misses. One and that's ball three. Not much you can argue with there as a hitter. That pitch was dotted on the inside corner of the plate. I think even if he swings the bat, it blows him up and not really able to do anything with it anyhow. I think if you see that early, then perhaps you can pull those hands a little bit tighter and get the fat part of the bat to it. But I'd say overall, you just have to tip your cap on that one. Great execution. Now the third baseman, Zach DeZenzo. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And there's two away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't the able to stay closed. And now the center Myers. fielder, Jake Myers. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. The pitch. Hard hit to third. Devers throws out to first. That ends the frame. Nothing doing there for Houston, but they lead it 8-3. Bottom of the seventh, and now the DH, Jaron Duran. The designated hitter. Jaron Duran. And another ball. Next offering is in for a strike. And they'll do it again. Kicks and deals. That misses. And now three and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Fights it off, you'll see another. And he deals. Right side, hard hit. Altuve slings to first. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. Willier Abreu up next for the Red Sox. The 2 1. Way out front for strike two. The Strohs leading by five here at the bottom of the seventh. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Makes the grab for the second out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up now enough to really drive it. Two outs, base is empty. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Two 
Two down, nobody on. Gets under and pops it up. Altuve on the move. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Astros eight and the Red Sox three. Back here at Fenway Park, ready to begin the eighth. And stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. McCormick. And the righty deals. One ball. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed no, differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Kicks and fires. Struck him out looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Swings through that one out in front that time. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. In the air, right field. Abreu makes the grab. Two down. The batter, number two, designated hitter, Alex Bregman. Two outs, base is empty. Alex Bregman getting ready to hit. Two outs. One ball, two straight. That's inside, and it's two and two. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from at bat to at bat. And that's outside. You're Don Alvarez. Hitting on deck circle. And a swing and a miss. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, number 74. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And here is Devers. The third baseman. Devers. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Good two-seam action right there, running away from the batter. Rolled over it, got the ground out. And now the first baseman, Dominic Smith. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Two ball, one strike. Activity in the bullpen. Hunter Brown, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Two down, nobody on. The other way. And that gets down for a base hit. 
Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good now, count. Just a really nice point. approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. And yeah, the batter now, number 97. This one in the air right field. McCormick on the run. Pops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. That was loud contact and a no-doubt double off the bat. I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen, though, and he's really improving his accuracy out there. It's almost like he tried to do it. Next to hit, David Hamilton. Two on, two outs. in the dirt and it's three and two Sedane Rafaela in the on deck circle and a pitch in the air right center this is mashed way back and gone a massive home run his seventh home run of the season. And they cut into the lead. It's 8-6. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game. And just like that, they're back in it. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient. And it paid off. Josh Hader comes on now. Big Number swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Yeah. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. So two away with nobody on. Here's the center fielder, Sedane Rafaela. And that one is lifted in the air. Myers settles underneath it. Brings it in for the third out. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 8-6. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Kenley Jansen. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. And stepping in for the Astros, your Don Alvarez. Just oh, missed. The two one. <laughs> Out there to center. Rafaela under it. He makes the grab. One away. Now back. Catcher. Yainer. Here's the catcher to hit. Yainer Diaz. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. And he can't come up with it.
That ball was drilled 106 off the bat and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And the batter